It was a story that shook the nation. A convicted rapist and murderer supposedly burned to death in his cell at a maximum security prison in South Africa. But questions were raised. Was he really dead? And if not, how did he escape? The investigation began. The story was uncovered by an online nonprofit news agency, Ground Up. They had been following the case of a man named Tarbo Bester. He was serving a life sentence for the rape and murder of a young woman in 2005. But as they dug deeper, they found something strange. There were inconsistencies in the story. Ground Up turned to Nathan Geffen, an editor who had been following the case. Geffen knew that there were too many unanswered questions. How did a man burn to death in a maximum security prison? How did the coroner find that he had died before the fire? How did a man who looked like Turbo Bester attend a glamorous event in Johannesburg? Geffen and Ground Up decided to investigate further. They found CCTV footage that showed two people hastily exiting the prison around the time of the incident. They also discovered that Tarbo Bester had been running a media company from his prison cell using a laptop. He even organized an event in the prison with staff and premises. This came as a serious shock. This was not just a rapist and murderer, but a scam artist of phenomenal proportions. They contacted G4S, the company that provided security at the prison. But G4S denied that Turbo Bester had escaped. They said he had died in his cell. Geffen and Ground Up knew there was more to the story. They continued their investigation. They found a man who looked like Tarbo Bester at a Woolworth store a month after he was supposed to be dead, and they found that that body was 25 centimeters shorter than Tarbo Bester. They wanted answers, and so they contacted G4S again, but the company remained silent. Geffen knew that they had difficult questions to answer. If Tarbo Bester had not escaped, how did he burn to death in his cell? How did the coroner find that he had died before the fire? And why did the body not match Turbo Bester's DNA? And it turned out that they were not the only ones 